I'll just uh, point out exactly what the Governor of the Bank of Canada said. If you look at the data over the past year, you actually see growth in over 80% of the economy. Obviously, there have been challenges, particularly in the energy and some commodity sectors because of, cha of falling uh, prices. But the fact of the matter is, over 80% of the Canadian economy has been growing. The Canadian economy as a whole is now growing according to the June figures. So that is the reality. That is the reality of the situation. It is good news. And thank God we didn't use a couple of months' weak data to go out and commit this country to three years of deficit spending and huge tax increases like the other guys would have done. We'll concentrate on the job creators who are Canada's small and medium-sized businesses. We'll give them a substantial tax cut. Moving that from 11 down to 9% will have an effect, a positive effect on those job creators. Remember, small and medium-sized businesses create 80% of the new jobs in our country. So we've got a clear plan. We know where this is heading. We know that Mr. Harper's plan has failed. That's an objective fact. The only person in Canada who doesn't know that Stephen Harper's plan has failed or won't acknowledge it is Stephen Harper. All the other objective measures prove that Stephen Harper's plan has failed. The NDP has a positive approach of what we can accomplish together. It includes creating jobs by giving a solid tax break to our small and medium-sized businesses, giving innovation and manufacturing tax breaks, and I will be a champion for manufacturing and innovation in this country. That's also a way of providing people with the confidence that things will work. Canadians are working harder and longer than ever, but our economy is not working for them. This is what's happening in 10 years under Stephen Harper. The economy might look fine from 24 Sussex Drive, but for millions of Canadians, it's been stuck in neutral for a long time. And now, it's going backward. In the face of all this, Stephen Harper is asking Canadians to stay the course. He wants us to believe his plan to do nothing is the best we can do. Well, I don't buy it. And I don't think Canadians do either. We can do better. 